Hello, I'm Claude King on Return to Me, and this week we're going to be focusing on glorifying God. God's glory is an evidence or a manifestation of His attributes at work in and through Him. We bring God glory when we testify to what God has done, when we say it with our lips, when we tell the stories of God's mighty deeds, when we declare His glory to the next generation by explaining to them what God has done. But another way we uh, give God glory is by the way we live our lives. We live our lives in a worthy manner that brings glory to God. Jesus said in John 15 that He's the vine, we're the branches. And when God bears fruit through our lives, it brings God glory. And so we can bring God glory by the way we live our lives and the fruit we bear for Christ. Paul the Apostle wrote to the church at Corinth and he said, I didn't come to wow you with my oratory skills or my arguments. He said, I didn't come with wise and persuasive words, but with the demonstration of the Spirit's power. Paul didn't want their faith to rest in men's wisdom, but in God's power. Essentially, he said, my life's an example, a testimony of what God can do. We have a tendency to think of Paul as, uh, hey, he's the guy that wrote nearly a third of the New Testament. But we forget sometimes that he was Saul of Tarsus. He was the number one terrorist of the New Testament church. So Paul, when he spoke to a church, he could say, hey, let me show you what God can do. He can take a terrorist and transform his life. Paul said to the church at Corinth, be imitators of me. And uh, he wasn't being arrogant when he said that. He knew that everything in his life was a testimony of what God had accomplished in him. Later he said to Corinth, he said, follow my example as I follow the example of Christ. Essentially what Paul was saying is, hey, I'm going after Christ's likeness and if if you'll go after Jesus the way I'm going after him, you can get there too. Come on, I'll show you how. And he showed people by his life how to follow after Jesus. In Ephesians 5, he said, be imitators of God. And ultimately, that's what we're aiming for. Not to be like a man or a woman, but to be like Jesus. Yet the good news is, we don't have to just imitate him. When God saved us, He placed the Holy Spirit of Christ in us. And if we'll allow God to crucify us so that it's no longer I that live, but it's Christ who lives in me, then uh, we can reveal Christ to a watching world. Paul wrote to the church at Thessalonica, and he commended them for their faith. He said, the testimony I'm hearing is your faith's ringing out all over Macedonia and Achaia. He said, you have become imitators of us and of the Lord, and as a result, you're having an impact all over your region of the world. That uh, region, if you looked at a modern-day map, would include Greece and Macedonia and, and uh, Albania. That whole region was being impacted by a church that followed Christ because Paul had shown them how. And they followed Paul's example as he followed Christ's example. Paul wrote to Titus and he said, Teach the slaves to be trustworthy and to so serve their masters and live their lives in honesty that they will make the gospel of Christ appealing to others. That's a part of what Return to Me has been all about, to help us as we return to the Lord, as we love Him, as we love others as we surrender all to Him, as we're transformed into the likeness of Christ, and then as we join God's mission and allow Him to work through us to impact the lives of others, to make disciples, and teach them to obey. When we live our lives like that, it just brings glory to God. And it's a natural overflow of a life that's connected to Christ as the true vine, and He bears fruit through our lives, and God gets glory for it. Let me share one testimony with you. I, 
There's a little book called uh, Fire in Coventry that describes a revival season and renewal that took place in Coventry, England. And uh, there was a time as they, the church was being renewed that they began to see an evangelistic harvest. And, and uh, let me read one paragraph to you. Uh, this new way of evangelism was first pointed out to me by a black girl from Angola in West Africa. Her name was Maria, and she was always laughing. One day, we were discussing evangelism and talking about pamphlets, missions, campaigns. After a while, somebody turned to Maria. What do you do in your church, Maria? In my church, said Maria after a moment's thought, we don't give pamphlets to people and have missions. We just send one or two Christian families to live in a village. And when people see what Christians are like, they want to be Christians themselves. That's uh, really what God's wanting to do with us. He's wanting us to return to Him, be filled with His Holy Spirit, be empowered in our witness, to so live our lives and love people, and to interact with people that they see what Christians look like and they want to be Christians themselves. And when we uh, begin to bear fruit in that way, we bring God glory. I want to encourage you this week and in the weeks to come to uh, so live your life that it brings glory to your Father who's in heaven and allow God to get glory through your church as you function as the body of Christ and show a watching world what Jesus looks like. So this week, glorify God.